Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah. And guys, it's making a comeback on the channel. So I've neglected my TV box fans long enough and I apologize. And what a great box to make a comeback with. And this one is awesome for many reasons. It has finally landed and thanking me cool, it finally and officially supports Netflix and this in 4K. Miku sure has taken a step in the right direction and I've been playing with this bad boy for around two weeks now and today I'll be sharing with you guys a quick unboxing, setup, demo, a couple of gaming, streaming, browsing, Wi-Fi and two to benchmark speed tests, Leah's pros and cons and my overall thoughts on this direct competitor to the Google Chromecast TV. So let's get this Miku KM2 Android TV box at the box. So in the box we have a setup guide, power adapter. So I have a UK power adapter, a HDMI cable, a voice remote controller, so here you can see it has a Google Play, Prime Video, YouTube and Netflix dedicated buttons. The remote controller takes two AAA batteries. We'll come back to this a little later on in the video. And the Cool KM2 Android TV box with a nice matte finish and a plastic build. Here at the front we have LED indicators. On the right guys we have a micro SD card slot a USB 3 and USB 2 slots. On the left we have nothing and at the back we have a power button, a power socket, Ethernet port, HDMI out, AV port, SPI diff, audio and an IR port. At the bottom we have these rubbery grippy things here and as you guys can see we do not have any air vents. That I've been using it for three weeks and I've personally had no issues with the box, no heat up, no slowdown or lag. And guys, as you will see later on in the video, whilst I'm gaming, streaming, I've not had a need for a vent so far. So I'm going to go away and connect this bad boy to my TV. Meanwhile, you guys check out the key specs and features on the screen in front of you. Powered by Android TV 10 Media Player with the new Google Chromecast design and remote control, the whole Miku KM2 reminds me of the Google Chromecast TV. The Miku KM2 comes with Google's official Android TV OS, built-in Chromecast with Google TV, supports Google Assistant, 4K HDR, Prime Video, YouTube 4K, and for the first time guys, we have licensed Netflix HD, and in 4K. We can also stream Disney Plus in 4K and this bad boy is priced at only £51 and around $59. I have left the link for it in the description box below for you guys to check out in more detail. So I've connected the Mi Cool KM2 to my TV. We have Google's Android TV OS which is nice, clean and minimalistic and can be customised. Here we have some pre-installed uh, apps and some I've downloaded from the Google Play Store which offers Android TV optimised apps. And this is the Android TV version of the Google Play Store. And as you can see Netflix is available and we'll come to this shortly. So here we have some pre-installed apps and some I've downloaded from the Google Play Store which offers Android TV optimised apps. The voice remote controller, in my opinion, does resemble the Google Chromecast TV remote controller, but with more buttons and features. Press the Google Assistant button once, and guys, there's no need to keep it pressed. It picks up my voice and commands on first prompt, which is nice. Open YouTube. See how quick that was? The Bluetooth remote control is very responsive and browsing through the home screen is a walk in the park. And as you can see guys, the box loads pretty quick, very fast and nippy. So now let's check out some 4K streaming on YouTube. 
play some 4K video on YouTube. 4K video. Go for our unit in seconds. Summer's easy. So now it's time to check out some 4K on Amazon Prime. Now guys, let's check out some 4K on Disney Plus. Sir, yes sir. Now it's time to see Netflix for the very first time in 4K on a Mikul TV box. Now moving on to some gaming on this fantastic box. I'll be playing a bit of Asphalt 8. So this game really isn't designed for playing with a remote control like this. So I'm gonna go and get my gaming controller, which I'll also list in the description box below this video. So this is a gaming controller that I use with my Android TV boxes. I have listed it in the description box below this video, should you wanna check it out. Gameplay, guys. So far, guys, it's perfect for gaming. I've only downloaded Asphalt 8 so far, but I will be downloading more compatible games. So, if you want to see any more gameplay on this box, do let me know, and I may be sharing some short clips uh, on the channel soon. So, now moving on to some speed tests. First of all, we'll look at the Wi Fi download and upload speeds. And these are the typical top speeds that I achieve on my router with PlusNet. Pretty decent guys, I'd say. So guys, although I've been unable to download the latest and to benchmark app due to compatibility issues with this box, just to give you guys an idea, in my test using the version 6 and to benchmark app, the Meekall KM2 records a decent 49,000 benchmark score, as you guys can see on the screen in front of you. For those of you who need to know a bit of DRM info, the box supports Google Widewind Level 1 and Android version 10 and guys does not come rooted as standard. And guys, although it has 8 gigs of internal storage, as you guys can see, there's only around 4.5 gigs free to use. Now that's not a problem because it can be expanded as I mentioned earlier via a micro SD card. And for those of you who need to know, the 
box is compatible to play 3D Blu-ray ISOs. Cody. So as you guys can see, I'm trying to download Cody. So I can show you guys that this box is compatible with 3D Blu-ray ISOs. Unfortunately, I've run out of space. So I'm gonna quickly delete the Asphalt game in order to download Cody. As you guys saw, Asphalt is over two gigs. Um, which takes up a lot of space. Well, my other option is to insert a micro SD card, but I do not want to do that just now. So if you guys are going to be playing 3D Blu-ray ISOs, you will be doing that via the Kodi app. This Miku TV box is running Android version 10. And just like the Google Chromecast, it does support updates if and when available. So similar to the Google Chromecast TV, the performance and specs of the Miku KN2 are fantastic. It comes with its pros and cons and let's just go through them guys we have some great performance specs and features it's around eight pounds cheaper than the google chromecast and has more connectivity many ports in comparison to it and a remote control which is much better in my opinion we have 4k streaming across the board expandable storage the me cool has eight gigs and the chromecast comes with four gigs of internal storage we have a fantastic Bluetooth voice remote controller and it supports Dolby Atmos. Although it doesn't have any vents, I've not experienced any slowdown, lag or heating problems with the box so far and I have been playing with it for around three weeks now. So some minor niggles, two gigabytes of memory and eight GB storage. However, it is fast, nippy and it allows us to expand the storage and it's only costing us 51 pounds which in my opinion is a no-brainer. It comes in white only, but I quite like it. Others might prefer a black or an option of colors. It does not support the latest AV1 codec. Dolby Vision is not supported on it. And I personally have not been able to control my TV with the remote controller that comes with the Miku KM2. And I have tried to use this feature on two separate TVs and it comes up with this message on the screen in front of you. So overall guys, a fantastic Android Smart TV box. I've not featured one on the channel for a very long time, but I had to share this one with you because it has highly impressed. Priced at only £51, we have some fantastic specs and features and great performance from this little bad boy. If you had to choose between the two, which one would you pick and why? Do let me know in the comments below. Would you pick the Mikul KM2 powered by Android TV 10 media player which supports Google's official Android TV OS, built-in Chromecast with Google TV, supports Google Assistant, 4K HDR, Prime Video, YouTube, Disney Plus and Netflix in 4K? Or alternatively, would you opt for the Google Chromecast TV? Do let me know in the comments below and do let me know why. And let me know if you do want to see more TV boxes on Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah. Okay guys, so that's me done for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit that bell icon above. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram to be notified of my upcoming videos, giveaways, etc. Until the next one guys, take care, stay safe. Bye.